like with off that green? Was it more the, the ankle or the shin, the bruising, or just kind of like that? Uh, no, I, ankle. Yeah. <laughs> Going into that game, I was going to be So we had three young guys from the Bills Cardinals front, the Bills Cardinals front. How do you think they fared in that game? Oh, well, they did a nice job. I mean, TJ, uh, Brock, Chuma, they all stepped up. I mean, Chuma's been out there all season, different spots. And then, uh, obviously, Brock and TJ got their first first real uh, real test there. I thought, I thought they stepped up to the plate and did a really nice job for us. How hard is it to have guys just step up, week up? Guys that haven't had as much playing time or experience, particularly when you're trying to get the passing bill when you're back? Uh, I mean, yeah, but, you know, we preach around here, you got to be ready when your number's called, especially in our room. And, um, you know, those guys, TJ and Brock, they, they, they're ready to play at any time. So, um, you know, they were taking reps last week, so, you know, it's not like they got thrown in the day before the game. And, uh, you know, they were, they were prepared, ready, ready to go. What's your confidence level? In, what do you need to see to get on the field Sunday? And what's your confidence level to be able to get on the Yeah, I'm doing everything I can to get ready. Um, felt pretty good out there at practice, so we'll just play it by ear these next few days. We talked a little bit about taking some stuff off of Dak's plate so he wasn't having to do so much the line of scrimmage. Do you think that he was having to do a little bit more last week because some of you guys weren't there on the line? No, I think, you know, it just comes down to execution. Um, you know, obviously the big thing we're, we're working on this week is, is, is uh, executing down the red zone. We had some great drives in that game on Sunday, and we're able, we're able to move the ball. We just got to finish when we get down there. Are you hoping that the fans have a warm welcome for Zeke and his homecoming? Yeah, I think everyone's excited to see Zeke, and, uh, you know, obviously we, we want to get after him, but, uh, you know, he, he was uh, a big part of this locker room for a long time, so it's going to be good to see him. What do you think back on your time with him? What do, what do you appreciate most about what he brought? Just his energy on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, he, he had a uh, great ability to to bring the energy and liven up the room at any time. You, you smile when you talk about yeah. him, and a lot of guys do immediately. Yeah. Is that kind of everyone who really knows him and played with him, is that kind of their response? I think so. I mean, he's, he's just I mean, a great football player, great teammate. Um, you know, you really couldn't ask more more from the guy. And, he, you know, like I said, he was such a big part of, of what we did around here for the last, you know, eight years or whatever it was. So um, it'll be good to see his face. What, what do you think has been the biggest issue in terms of just general red zone futility? You know, we just got to execute when we get down there. I mean, it's really as simple as that. Um, you know, we, we've had some great drives and we're moving the ball, kind of kicking their butt down the field. And then uh, we just got to be aware when we get down there and, and uh, you know, sharpen the focus and execute better when we get down inside that 10 yard line. What do you appreciate most about Bill Belichick? Yeah, he's just all, always uh, always testing your rules, giving you different looks. I mean, guys are playing all over the place. You can see a safety playing on the end of the line, one play, and then, you know, the next play you got. You know, three big guys out there on the end of the line. So um, he just gives you a lot of different looks. You just got to be on top of your communication and make sure everyone's on the same page of who we're working to. There's something coming off from last week as far as the mental approach this week that you really like inside this locker room. Yeah, I think guys are locked in. I mean, um, you know, obviously it didn't go our way last week, and, and uh, but you know, in this league, you can't you can't sit back and think about the shoulda, woulda, coulda. You got to move forward. Um, and I think this is this team is built to move forward and watch that game and get on to the next. This, this team has lost back to back games in like 26 games. Is that kind of does that go to what you're talking about? Yeah, I think so. And, you know, it's a long season. I mean, we we want to win them all, but uh, you know, when you do have those hiccups, it, it's right back to work. And, and you, you know, you got to come back and prepare and get ready for the next week because there's going to be another team coming in here trying to kick your butt. Thanks. Yep. Thanks.